Hi everyone, my name is Pranav Bhagat and I am a senior developer advocate here at ServiceNow. In this video, I am going to talk about how you can add images to your email notification. This is one of the very popular topics on ServiceNow community. So let's get into it. All right. So to add an image to our notification, firstly, I've added an image to our image table and you can see that and let me just copy this thing up. Now what I'm going to do is to add like a particular image to notification. We have to call this image in a mail script and then call that mail script in the notification. So let's create a mail script so we can say notification scripts. Let's click on it and I can just say simply image dot test. Now I'm going to utilize this template object that's there and I'll just say template dot print and then I'll just simply put our copied image source. So that's there. Now let's save this mail script and call this in the notification. So what I can do is like I'll just create a new notification and I can simply go to the system notifications notifications click on new and well is it test notification and I'll simply say incident and then I'll say when to receive on insert and what it will contain will be the mail script so let's call our mail script so I'll say mail I'll say mail underscore script and our email script is image.tech test and I'll just save it now let's preview it and see how what it is so you can see the button is coming up all right so you can see that the now the image is created so one of the use cases during for this kind of like why we want to add image is during approval notifications in approval notification we have something like click kind of a link which says like click to approve or click to reject if you want to replace that with an image we can do that so let's do that and i'll give a shout out to jaspal who has created a proper blog for it so i'll be using some components from it to create that same script so let's do that so i'll go back to our same script our mail script that's there and now we don't need it for now and I'm just going to copy a script so you can see that I copied a script let me go one by one so basically I'm getting the instance name using the instance name property then I have something like an instance URL which I'm building up then we have an email watermark so that we can identify like from which incident this thing is created then we have the incident number or a task number whatever you want to call it then we are like whom to send it we have the email address for the instance and just a simple email body now the thing that's confusing is always this part because for a new person who hasn't seen a long HTML then it's a bit confusing so what I can do is like let's break this thing up for you all so I can just break it like this I can paste it here and then I'll just simply say image here okay so you can see that like for the image one it's pretty simple to understand that we are just calling our approve image that's there nothing else so I can remove it now for the a tag you can see we are doing an href and mail to so the mail to is basically used to open the outlook or the inbox in your desktop right and if you want to know you can always google about mail to and you can see a simple example when i click on it it just tries to open my out outlook simple as that now it accepts certain parameters like subject and body 
like what will be the subject and body so you can build it now for our subject what we are doing is like we are just putting this subject it's regarding this incident number that we are getting from our current record then we are adding a space then we are saying it's approved or we should say just approve and because this is how ServiceNow will know that this incident is approved approved and then we have the body what we want to put the body which will be like this is approved and then the mark which is like the e email dot watermark that's there so this is one use case and of course you can obviously put uh, this in a script include the way in the blog and it works fine for the example i just put it everything in the mail script shown you so that's how you can add an image to your notification and thanks for watching bye bye